All right, we get a 1793. Welcome to day 189 on my journey to 2000 ELO on chess.com. I'm gonna play knight f6 here. And we get g3. So opponent wants to go for some sort of Catalan setup. I'm gonna play c5. Is that good? I almost want to play d5 now. I don't know d5. Well, I mean, I've played d5, but I'm trying to. So, a Tartic Hour attack is what it says. Now I can collect the pawn right away. I can also play the knight out, which I think is better. Has this bishop move that's okay that's okay so i'm back at 1700 after i think i can simply take the pawn or i just play e6 and attack the pawn e6 looks fine yeah let's play e6 uh, back at 1700 after playing a little bit off camera. It's been tough for me the last couple of weeks just mentally dealing with the fact that I was at like less than a week ago I was at 1750 and I've just fallen so far and I think it's a good reminder to anyone that plays that success is not a straight line progress is not linear like just improvement is not linear you're not gonna um so I think this, let me think about this. Is he trying to go here? I could simply castle, that's fine. But going here attacks the pawn and then he just castles. So it looks like they're trying to go here. I could play a5 just to stop that. The knight now has to come here. Makes development a little bit weird for the opponent. I like a5. Don't know if there's a downside to this move. Um, but yeah, so the... It, it, I think sometimes people look at rating and think that that's... The, their rating is a is a direct correlation to how good they are and that's not always true like you can improve and not have improved in rating yet that happens all the time so i could even go here to, to double attack this pawn I have this seems a little bit weird from my opponent this move is a little bit strange I'm going to castle because I don't really see a reason not to. And I can play d5. I could also play d6. I want to get my light square bishop developed. So maybe not weakening my knight immediately. d5 looks okay. Can he play e4? He can't play e4. He needs to get his knight to d2, but then his bishop also has to come out. I could play queen c7 to, oh no, queen c7 runs into bishop. No, but if he, does, if he plays the bishop there, I can play e5. Okay, so let me think about this structure. I'm gonna play d5. d6. Let's play d5. Complete the pawn triangle here and then I'm gonna play maybe b5. I could play the knight here, I could play the the Queen here now. D4. 
d4 is not good. I really do want to get this bishop out on this diagonal, so I think I'll play b6, but I also have knight e5, or knight e4, sorry, knight e4. He closed his bishop in, which my queen can come here now. I'm going to play b6, get this bishop out. But yeah, so basically, people see these... I wish I had time to talk. I can't talk. I wanted to discuss some things. But I think taking... Uh, actually, let's let him take if he wants to take my knight. Where is he going with this knight? He could go here, though. That's kind of annoying. He could take his knight. He probably takes with this pawn. And we get a sort of... Carlsbad pawn structure. I actually think that's fine. But I kind of want to go here and give him the option to take. But then if knight drops in here, I don't like that very much. So let's take this knight and then move my bishop. e7 feels passive, but now his bishop can get out. Maybe that was bad to take the knight. Probably. But actually, my bishop can go to... Eight. Oh, I should have just let him do that. I could have gone here. No, but, but my knight would have been undefended. Play bishop a6. I know he wants to move his rook anyway, but I also want to have potential pressure down this. I want to start playing on the queen side here. And I think I get my queen to c7. Queen c7, does that make any sense? I don't know that it really matters. I guess he can play bishop. He can move his knight and play bishop e4 now. So it does matter a little bit. But he did have a... If he plays the bishop there, I might just play my bishop here. So, what I've been trying to say and failing to say a billion times is that it's hard for me to, to want to upload games where I've done so poorly, um, and I know I can play better than that. Like, it, it's just, it's tough. I think I push here now, or I just take, no, I don't take. I feel like this is not going super well. Yeah, so I had like two two people unsub from the channel after that day where I lost like two games and uploaded it. And it's stuff like that that I'm like, man, this sucks. Like, why do I suck? And why do I have to... is doing anything besides babysitting that pawn. I'm going to put my rook here, just an improving move. I think he goes bishop here and I can play my bishop here. I thought about doing this knight to attack or moving the knight to attack this knight, but I think I do it now, maybe.
I can also play knight h5. But yeah, uh, just very difficult to play poorly when I know I can play better. And that's why I was playing some games off camera to kind of get my mojo back, get me back up to 1700. Feels like crap to like play so poorly and then upload those and then, you know, having people unsubscribing because it's like, oh, you know, it's it just sucks mentally. Mentally, the pressure of improving and also making games somewhat maybe potentially this is weird because I can go no, I can't that's an interesting move I could move my queen here oh I, I kind of want to get my knight here to here to here if possible That'd be sweet. If I push and he takes my bishop, and then I take the pawn, he just takes, and it's not really worth it. Oh, he's threatening to take here. So I could move my queen. And then he has this, but I just take the bishop. I don't know, this is looking kind of weird. I'm gonna play this move though. I know it gets my queen across from this bishop too, but I feel like uh, something my OBS just flashed. Hopefully that doesn't mean anything. Now I have b4. If I play b, if the queen moves and I, well, if he takes the pawn, I take here and the queen has to move before he can take this pawn. So then that's also good. Oh, interesting. I really don't think that's good, though. Seems so strange. I can also just block this. And I, he'll take my... Or it'll be an exchange. I don't think I have to do that, though. He's still threatening this. could simply go rook over. Or if I push, queen takes, queen takes, bishop takes, takes, takes. There's nothing there. So if I play the rook over, let's just do it. I'm trying to see what the main plan is here. I don't have this anymore, but he doesn't have this either. I could have also played rook a8, which might have been better because it leaves space for my other rook to go to b8. So I definitely feel white is better significantly. I don't know what the evaluation would be, but it, it's it got to be like plus one just positionally. But I think I can, if I can untangle, I can, might be able to find some, find an attack on the queen side that works. I can actually still play knight d7. Knight takes, queen takes. 
That might be what I need to do next. Yeah, so I'm just trying to see what my opponent is looking for here. Still hasn't moved his rook on the A file, but I guess it's decently positioned. Does he have a move like B4? No, just takes, takes. Well, B4 does, if I take with the A pawn, it does open his rook up to my bishop. But then I just take, well, it, it does if he takes on, on b5. And then I take with the bishop anyway, and that's not good for him. Yeah, b5 looks, or b4 looks bad. I don't know. I don't really see a lot of good moves, I guess. You could double, I would probably maybe play, I don't know what I'd play actually. Yeah, rook move, that makes sense. I have this knight move up. And it's more active than going back to d7. But what am I aiming for there? I don't really have a square that's good from there. So does B4 work now? Takes, takes. I don't really, I'm not really concerned with it. I'm gonna play Knight D7. Try to neutralize this Knight here. So if he doesn't take, I'm gonna take the Knight and probably Bishop takes, Bishop takes, Pawn takes. And then we get a potentially favorable pawn structure on the queen side? I don't know. Okay, so should I take the knight though? I can go knight b6 to knight c4 and that's a beautiful knight. But as soon as I go knight b6, he's going to take the pawn on b5 and I can't take it's kind of a um, a little bit of wishful thinking I guess I, I could take no I can't I need my queen to not be there can I move my queen my queen go to c7. That way if he takes on a, a5, I can take it. My queen goes to a7 and he takes on b5. I take, and he needs to take. What if I take on, let's take on. No, I don't want to take there first because if my queen goes to c7, then it's attackable. Queen c7. Knight b6. Wait, how does that help my knight? 
get to that square. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't at all. I guess I'll, I'll take here first. Let's do that. Yep. And then we'll move the bishop. Back, maybe? If I move it back here, he can take here. I should have taken this pawn first if I wasn't going to do the knight maneuver. I'm now realizing. I take there, no. Takes, takes, takes. This was so stupid. Because once he take, I take here, this rook, this pawn, he's got four attackers on this pawn. So he can take the pawn. I take, he takes with the rook. It's just um, a lot of pressure here. So my options are take. No, I mean, keep the bishop here if he takes I push and then takes takes if I push he takes here though that's an issue as well Man, opponent is playing very well. Like always. So if I move my rook here. Put the bishop there. I, I can't. I can't even think through this. Might just have to put my rook here, or something else altogether. So if I take, and he takes my queen, I take his queen. I take he takes my bishop I take his bishop take 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 So if I take on an a5, a4, he takes the queen. I take his queen. He takes. I might be calculating this wrong, but whatever. I'm sick of playing this game. This particular game. I think if I've calculated it right. Oh, I can just take. Oh, no. That's so stupid. Yeah. So he does end up with a bishop more than me, which sucks. Do I even want to trade the bishop now? No, I don't think so. I have to, though, because he's pushing. Yeah, so I miscalculated this, as always. 
And then this sucks because I don't really have a good way to protect my pawn. But I have to try to track down this A pawn. There's not a good way to do that though. There's actually literally no good way to do that. This sucks. As well just throw the game away all right that was crazy opponent played super well oops hang on auto game review here or auto uh, re rematch or new game that's what i'm talking about though this this kind of this kind of games it's it's very hard to want to upload a game like this and I try to do my best to just upload whatever I play. I don't think I've ever, unless a video didn't work, I don't think I've ever. Yeah, this is just like a, you can see the chart here. The opponent just slowly grinded me out here. Um, got me in an opening I'm not familiar with, but said he played like a 1950. I played like a 1550. So a5 was un unnecessary, so I should have probably just castled. Let's see. d5. So b6 was bad. I can't believe this is a great move. What is going on here? So I should have just taken the full center. That's inaccurate. Just move my knight. Yeah, I kind of allowed my opponent to get pieces to decent squares. This move was nice. It's not a move that a lot of players find. That was a blunder, apparently. Yeah, so I calculated him taking here. And then at the end of it, oh, I still am in peace down. Never mind. I even calculated it wrong. So I should have taken here, probably. And then after he takes here, bishop takes. So either way, I lose a piece. Yeah, I needed to get my rook actually over here, I feel like. Rook b8, yeah. Rook b8 was the... Because then I'm not trading... I needed my queen like right here. Rook b8. b3. What's weird is this is the best move here. So then what am I supposed to do? That's the best move. Oh, I should have I should have pushed. Okay. So I should have pushed. And I, my bishop would have been super active here. Why didn't I like this? I talked about pushing. I think I was thinking 
takes and takes and then he's got this past pawn I, th I thought like maybe I would take with the pawn but no let's I just made a lot of bad moves here in this really bad position that I kind of and then taking the knight I think was the so I don't know why this is a blunder so let's take a look at this now a takes bishop takes queen takes oh i'm undefending my knight eventually but what about so if a takes oh he's attacking my queen if he takes i, I was thinking this but then even no d takes so i'm still my oh i still have a piece hanging that's the problem. But then, queen takes, queen takes, bishop takes, rook takes, pawn takes, and I'm down a piece still. And having trouble counting today. Yeah, I just made a lot of like bad moves all in a row. But give it to you know, give it up for my or I gotta give hand it to my opponent. I guess is what I'm trying to say. We're playing well. Yeah, it's just hard to understand this position fully. All right, well, that's a wrap for today. I will be back tomorrow and I will play more chess tomorrow and get better, hopefully. Thank you for watching.